An accused Ponzi scheme operator from here in the Tennessee Valley is now battling bankruptcy and investors who want their money back. We'll, we'll tell you why those investors say they were built out of lots of money. Good evening. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Kim Chapman. All new at this hour, we've learned Jack Brown collected investments from people who say that he, that he told them that he was affiliated with an insurance company that we've confirmed he was terminated from. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin first told you about this story last Friday. He's here now with an update. Jerry. Latricia Kim, Jack Brown is accused of running a scheme and using money for personal use. It's very upsetting for many possible victims. I spoke today to a bankruptcy attorney who has advice for first-time investors. These court documents point out clearly the allegations against Jack Brown. An attorney, Rebecca Hicks, filed these records last week, alleging Brown stole more than $4 million from local investors. Kenneth Rannick is a Chattanooga bankruptcy attorney and knows all too well about scams done by investors. Here's a guy, a local guy, promising a guaranteed 15% for substantial sums of money. That's obviously a red flag. Jack Brown is the owner of Brown's tax service in Saudi Daisy, but told investors he also worked as an insurance agent on the side. The documents say Brown operated a Ponzi scheme which has now collapsed. It also accuses Brown of never investing any money on behalf of any creditor because he doesn't have a license to do so. Now many of these possible victims we talked to today told us that Jack Brown told them he worked as an insurance agent for Allianz Insurance Company. But when we called today, a spokesperson told us Jack Brown was fired back in September 2009. We've also learned tonight that Brown allegedly used the money to purchase assets for himself and family members. Now, there's an involuntary petition filed in bankruptcy courts to try and get those investors back their money. Today, we called Brown's attorney. He declined to comment. But bankruptcy attorney Kenneth Rennick hopes this will be a lesson learned for future investors. He should have given a private placement memorandum. There should have been some securities filings done. And there's a court hearing tomorrow morning to discuss appointing a trustee for this case. We'll keep you all posted on Jax Brown's response and the hearing tomorrow. Kim. Jerry, thank you very much.